It's Roadman Saf, aka Saf Malik. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lou Phelps. What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick. What's up? It's me, Alfie. Hey, I'm Ezra Jordan, and you're listening to The Cool Table. <laughs> you're now listening to The Cool Table. You, know? you are listening to The Cool Table. And uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but right now, you're in the cut with my man, Adriel right. Smiley. All right, welcome to The Cool Table. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Here with the boy Lou Phelps. Out here, Toronto. Now, FBI is looking for you. As we just heard, <laughs> why was the FBI looking for Lou Phelps? Because I dropped straight heat all the time. I burned all the, you know what I'm saying, all the ears when I, when I spit these bombs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just playing. I don't, I don't know what the FBI, FBI would be. Wholesome guy, no reason FBI look for you, nothing. Do nothing bad? I'm, 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 a, I'm a good man, you know. Law abiding citizen, you know what I mean? Now, you said that Kendrick had some tracks that, you know, change your life. Let's talk about why Kendrick, it's just so important to you, what he's doing right now. Like, how did that make you feel? Um, Kendrick has some tracks that changed my life, but uh, I don't know, man. There's no, there's no artist that really, um, there's no artist that really makes me feel the way Kendrick makes me feel. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, he gives me the energy while seeing some real stuff, mm-hmm. you know? It just, I don't the know. The full package kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, to me, it's like, that's the, the idol. Like, I want to be like him. Mm-hmm. Really. Like, mm-hmm. I want to, like, if I want to, the image of a rapper should be him. Yeah, yeah. no, he no, he's like, he's like the prototype right now. Because yeah. he has all, all components. What's your favorite Kendrick track? My favorite Kendrick track is probably, um, for sale. It's like an interlude on Oh, yeah, you're saying, you're saying it gave you chills. Yeah, 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 it gave me chills. Like, just like, Beginning, like the musicality of the song, mm-hmm. what he says on the song is like really like eye opening and like, yeah. wow, like this, this guy is it's amazing. Favorite Kendrick album? To Pimp a Butterfly. A Butterfly? Yeah, that changed my life. It's like, damn. It's like the moment from where I was like, I was going through like some some stuff mm-hmm. at that mm-hmm. time when the album dropped and then I listened to the listened to the album and I was like, man, that. You know, mm-hmm. I feel that in some type of way, even though I, it's not necessarily dedicated to me. I can I can kind of feel what he's saying and yeah yeah. You know, it was crazy. It was crazy. So how do you feel about him now? Like since then, he's put out you know, more classic albums. He's as big as he's ever been. Like, did you see him being this big? Like, how does it feel to be as a fan to this? I never scene? thought he would be that big. I was a fan since like the the first time I heard Kendrick was on Section Eighty. Yeah, yeah. that's same for me. Same yeah. for me. I've been a fan since then, but um, yeah, I never thought he would be that big because yeah? the content of his music is so so real, so complex and so like rich. There's like a mm. lot of stuff, you know. Everything is compact in like one song, and like it's hard for people to understand that. But yeah, he still manages to make hits, no, no, classic good. albums. You know what I mean? Like literally all incredible, it's incredible. All, all all the albums that he drops that he dropped are like. No, at, th- at this point, it's just expected. Like, if you were to drop something tomorrow, I would assume that it would be just as good as everything else. You know, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to not be hard on Kendrick, but like, it's hard to like not be hard on him because I'm like, all the albums that you drop, mm-hmm. are straight classics. Mm-hmm. So you have to drop another classic, yeah. another classic, and that's how it is. It's like you, have no you know, choice. like LeBron James, if you do yeah. this, like you're gonna be like, well, I'm disappointed, but you know, at some point you're gonna recognize that LeBron James is probably the best player of our era. You know. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We don't want to, we don't want to go further than that. Hey, I have, everybody's entitled to your own. Yeah, yeah. Humans, we'll, we'll leave it at in our air. We're not going <laughs> to go past that. Yeah. You have a line where you say, brand new guy like ASAP and Q. Those are two of my favorites. Just tell us you know, about your love for those guys. Um, at the time, I was really uh, into like Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q, I'm always like, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. ASAP Rocky, a bit less, but I'm still a fan. Um, yeah, it was just like I felt like I was the brand new guy at yeah. that time, and I was like, yeah, brand new guy like ASAP and Q. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, these guys are dope. I'm trying to be as dope as them. Yeah, maybe doper. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. You know. So in the Come Inside video, you're hosting the Lou Phelps show. Now, if that was a real show, tell us like who's gonna be on it, who are your guests, who's your musical guest. If, if Lou Phelps show was a real show, who's gonna be on that? Um, Lou Phelps show would probably be like um, a bunch of like young people doing dope stuff. Okay. And have musical guests like 
other young people doing those stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. keep it young, keep it fresh, keep mm-hmm. it new. And like, I would probably take um, ideas from Eric Andre show type of thing. Yeah. Okay. 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 Like weird questions and like. Yeah. Let's not you know, stay not, like not the rest like, of them. Oh, so yeah. what are you working on? It's like, no, I'm yeah, not, I'm yeah, not yeah. about that. I'm more, I'm more like a, a fun person. I want to ask like the weird question. I want to yeah, know what, yeah. what's on their mind and like mm-hmm. that type of thing. But um, that would be the move up show, yeah. Okay. So, Kane Music Week, what do you guys have planned? Last night you guys are probably going to hang out. Seems that like you guys are ready to head back home. Enjoy Montreal. Tell us what you got coming up next. Um, Canadian Music Week was pretty fun. But, uh, Coming up next, I'm just working on my album right now. Oh, okay. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make. Do we have a title? Do we have a date? Like, <clears throat> I don't have a title yet. I know it's gonna be zero zero two. I wanted to call it Love Me. I wanted to call it Love Me. Okay. So we're sticking with zero 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 two. Yeah. At least we have that part. That's for sure. okay. I wanted to call it Love Me because it's all about feelings and heartbreak and like okay, a, okay. Bunch of, yeah, a bunch of feelings like <laughs> wrapped up. It's more like an evolution of me now. You know? Okay, okay. Because I used to not. Like I used to, back then I used to just rap to rap, right? Yeah. But um, I I quickly understood that people want stuff to that they could relate to. Mm-hmm. You know. So I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm just gonna say how I feel, and hopefully people understand. Yeah. Because feelings are like mutual sometimes. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah. Okay. So kind of the title, <coughs> love me, zero zero two. Any date? Any dates in mind? Any singles coming? Like. Um, it's any, anything that we can know. I don't know when it, when this is going to drop, but I know mm. there's a single dropping. It's not from the album, mm. but it's just like a, a loose theme. Okay. Um, it's called Want To. Okay. Um, video dropping for it too. Um, yeah. May 23rd. Okay, okay. And um, then we have another, I'm sure, another video really soon. Like, So you're gonna keep feeding this drink. We don't have a date, but of course, of course, yeah. I keep feeding them. Alright. So, yeah. so Lou folks, fans, you don't gotta stay hungry. Thanks so much for joining us.